Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Sheldon Art. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be doing a bloom. And this bloom is going to be um, multicolored. Um, I have some of the colors that I used in a small tile that I posted on the Facebook page that I entitled Glass Bubbles. Um, I want to use the same color palette, but now I'm doing it on a 10 by 10 canvas as opposed to a tile, and I hope to blow out and the cells work out the same. The colors are a little bit different, some of them are, but the process I'm trying to make the same. And um, yeah, so I want to get started. I want to put my pillow down and then we'll go from there with the colors. Ugh, so, this is my pillow paint, which is, hold up, looks like the top of it is not quite the one toward the back. Oh, there it is. This is my pillow paint, which is Glidden Premium White with water, that's it. No GAC 800, nothing like that. Just paint and water. small bubble there but that's it everything looks smooth because I stir it slowly you can't stir fast when you're doing this I spun it out some just to flatten the pillow a little and it seems like it's not going to be enough paint there so I'm going to put some more paint on this side and I'll spin it again As many of you are aware, I did have a little bit of a conflict on one of the Facebook pages, but it got straightened out. And the artist's name is Tiffany Smith. And I tell you, um, when you get a chance, go to her channel. She has some uh, amazing art that's there. And, um, oh, I wish I wish I knew the name of it. And I can't look at my phone, but you can probably look up the name on YouTube as Tiffany Smith and it should come up. Um, but, I'm going to be doing this bloom with these colors. And I'm gonna start off with uh, Pineapple Crush. After the conflict was straightened out, we had a nice dialogue. And so now I'm going to do, uh, I guess what most people consider the right thing would be to not only, um, like I said before, I already did like a public apology to her, but of course I like to also give her the support as well we all are artists we all have a passion for this thing we live in a pandemic time and sometimes we don't really need a whole lot of conflict or instigation by other people who probably weren't involved however this is between her and i and not only it got worked out but we actually started supporting each other's channels. So there you have it. And that's how those who are mature in this art field conduct themselves and do so um, wisely. So please take a visit to our channel. 
like I said, once again, check it out. She has amazing art. There's a lot you can learn from all of these fluid artists that I've come in contact with. Um, I became friends with uh, Britta Clayton, and you can go to her YouTube channel, Britt Clayton. Um, Believe Art Designs with Brandon Lee. And these guys are, they may be up and coming, but let me tell you, they are definitely a force to reckon with. So I'm just saying. Both new and old YouTube artists still deserve the same kind of respect and support for their channels. So please give all of them a look, see, check out their videos. You can learn a lot from them. Okay, I'm gonna blow this out now. I'll list the colors since I've been talking. So I'll list the colors in the description box. Black cell activator too thick. Didn't seem like it wanted to move. Now put the different opaque colors like in different parts so the different colors will open up all around the edges. Use a straw and blow slowly. Try to wake up some cells in the middle. much better. What I don't like is this guy right here. So let me see if I can. Pick him out. And blow some of that cell activator right there. And see if I can wake up some new cells. Much better. Sometimes you touch the paint a little bit. Very lightly, you can pull up something that's undesirable. Oh yeah, that's definitely much better. All right. So now I'm going to modify my edges with my toothpick. 
where some of the parts are not really uh, dramatic. Like these little points here, I like to pull them around. Like so. As I said before, I only modify in areas that need it. I don't like to wreck, as some would call it, but I would do the modifications on some of these areas that either seem boring or just need a little bit of help to draw some interest. Like this right here, like what's that? So I'm going to shape it into something to make it become something. The way this point comes here, it's the same way. tread light with this uh, toothpick because I like to drag the paint up to the top and I drag the toothpick to the point of scraping the canvas the whole way. Now, I'm only working close to the middle because I found that if I work too close to the edge, when I spin it out, it actually spins off. So it's like pointless. Give it a slow spin. And I don't mind it being off center. I really don't. that widens out all this paint comes off so you can imagine that if I would put those swirls closer to the edge I would have lost them all now a lot of this is pulling this way so I'm going to want to pull it more that way so I'm just gonna move the canvas just slightly to that direction and hopefully I don't lose any more off the side and everything spins that way. Okay start to move a little bit. Try it one more time. And starting to move the move the paint slow at first keeps the shape of your swirls from getting this little wiggly distorted part to it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely liking that. So let me uh, rinse my hands off and I will take you down for a closer look. Okay folks, I'm back. And I did look up the video 
and the page is called Shake, Stir, Pour. So please give that uh, channel a look. I think you'll like how it goes, the things you can learn from there, and just like um, a lot of people support those who are veterans on YouTube, those of us that are just starting out, we like to have the support just as well. So please um, go and visit and give, uh, show your love and subscribe to that channel like y'all been doing mine. But for now, thank you for watching and happy pouring. Good night.